Morning Trainiacs. Brought coffee from uh, my Airbnb in a proper coffee mug. This ain't my first rodeo. So this is day two of working on the How to Swim Masterclass with Lucy and Reese. I think we got a good handle on it. Watching them for the bunch of videos that we shot yesterday, I got a really good handle on their approach to swimming, which then guides the rest of the week. Where'd that coffee go? Let's get into it. You gotta say good morning, Trainiacs, if you wanna be extra cool. Morning, morning Trainiacs. That works, that works. Pros. Trainiacs, just to give you an idea of how packed this place is with talented triathletes. So we got Lucy and Reese knocking out 10 100s here, and Annie Haug knocking out some backstroke in the lane next to him. They haven't talked one bit. Love the intensity. Somebody that I met here just asked, so how's it going with Lucy and Reese? The answer, great. They make things quite simple. I think we just knocked off a good six videos, four yesterday. Rolling here, we are rolling. I'm gonna go and bike support with them in a little bit, but I'm still training while I'm doing this, so uh, I gotta get stuff in. I got these little beauties to accompany me for the next half hour. session was enough to give me wobbly legs and as I was just hobbling back to the car I'm thinking what better way to celebrate that than to go on a 30k bike ride watching all of these people run. Why wouldn't you go for a 30k run on hills where most people bike? Sounds totally reasonable. Do there? Yeah, just a pretty sort of steady long run on off road, which I like the best. So a little bit out up the volcano, a bit of quite a lot of elevation on the way out, and then mostly downhill on the way back, which is nice. So you run your way out, and you've got to come back, which I always like that because you've got no choice but to run home. So yeah, just putting in a bit of base miles at the moment. So uh, yeah, that was quite good fun. How long did um, it end up being? That was 90 minutes. So yeah, that was quite good. Um, under 20k. So. Ooh, Reese looks pumped up to go to the track now. <laughs> <laughs> there you're just celebrating on the ground yeah yeah 
Pay my dues. The Garmin tell you you've got 96 hours of recovery ahead of you? <laughs> says I need to move. <laughs> that was a fun little ride. Just kind of decided to go for some sightseeing and ride a little sport bike alongside Lucy Reese and Pass. The thing I'm realizing is that there's no secret sauce to all of their training. It's really just consistent day in, day out. Do a lot of swimming, do a lot of cycling, do a lot of running. Now, granted, some of the things that they're doing are like that 22 mile run, I believe, that Reese had total. Did feature the fastest work, that four times a mile at five, 45 to 550 per mile pace that's hard work but it's just consistent hard work layered on top of each other over and over and over there's no like hey give me a workout that's going to change everything here now granted what i believe is that for the age group triathlete you and me because we don't have the 15 minimum hours that they would do on a low week they're doing like 20 to 25, upwards of 30, some pro triathletes do. We don't have the luxury to do that. So I think that in our case, age groupers, because we're only doing maybe five to 12 hours a week, we do have to be a little bit more unique with our workouts. Hence, some of the things that we do on Team Trainiac with intensity, with nasal breathing, with making sure that we're building up the aerobic engine in the time that we have, still hard work, just a little bit less of it. Speaking of that, swim. I have yet to be in this pool. Have I mentioned I like outdoor pools? Been frothing at the mouth over this since I got here. Let's go. strength work, we got in a decent swim, we knocked off five or six videos with Lucy and Reese, three audio files with Lucy and Reese, and, and... <laughs> so Lucy, Reese, and I were just wrapping up, recording the last audio file, I'm coiling up cords, and who do I hear up in the balcony yelling, hey, Taryn, Patrick Langa! I am now the current owner of a Patrick Langa Sailfish World Championship wetsuit. See, it's got the World Championship rings on it on both sides. And where, where pointed this out to me? Mm, right there. Ironman World Champion Patrick Langa. Two times now. Now he gave this to me because tomorrow we film all of the underwater GoPro action sequence stuff for the Lucy and Reese how to swim course and I remembered the last time I just floated around for a little while getting GoPro shots of athletes that I froze in like 20 minutes so all day I was like oh man I need to find a wetsuit. Got one now. So we are doing some cool things here, Trainiacs. And I say we, like all of us Trainiacs. Patrick Langa, he watches these videos. Laura Phillip, I went and met her today. Some people have told me that she is one of the next potential competitors to Daniela Reef. She said today that she watches the videos. Luce and, and Reese, the only reason that I'm here doing this with them is because they watch the videos. So, just like you, they are all Trainiacs. This whole Trainiac thing, it's a thing. We're doing it. This is cool. Thanks for coming along for the ride, Trainiacs. I'm gonna go in there. This has been a long day. It's time for bed. It's the 
three rings? It's so cool. All right, later. Oh, I just took a look and realized there are five colors, not three rings. Long day.